All right, Ralph, could you share with us the key factors that contributed to achieving 25% cloud ERP growth for two years in a row at Navigator? What was the success? Why is that? How did that happen? What value are you bringing to the market? You know, that's a substantial metric of uh, positive performance, right? So can you maybe give our listeners some insight in uh, how you were able to do that? Sure, Jack. Happy to share that. I've been at Navigator for uh, six years now. And really about three years ago, we made a, a very strategic decision to really start to focus around specific industries that had a cloud mindset. That's, so that's kind of the first thing that you're looking for is to identify prospective customers that have a cloud mindset and finding the right industries that were growing at that period of time. Mm-hmm. Now, in this case, if you look at our website, you'll see we have a lot of focus in regulated industries, primarily life sciences being the biotech industry um, as a subset of that life science industry. And there was a lot of growth coming out of the pandemic. And so what we had was companies that had really gotten the feasibility right around their science. They had gotten investment. They were looking to be able to put in place proper business process. That's really what one of their things their investors were looking for, was to make sure that what they were investing in not only had good science, but also had really good standardized business processes because they knew they needed to have that in place before they could scale. And so as we take a look at what were the the secrets, right, it was identifying the right customers, the right industry, honing our skills in that particular industry, so really creating a package or a solution of best practices that that industry or industries, when we start to talk about consumer products, um, could adopt in order to implement quickly have a rapid time to value on that implementation, and then be able to scale off of that. So that's really, as as we looked at it, we really refined our marketing. I had really good targeting, had a good solution offering, had good references, and were able to demonstrate the value to those prospective customers and achieve that that growth that you've referenced. Yeah. Well, thanks, Ralph. What would you say in your experience then? So once you present your offering and your value to your clients, what would you say in your experience are some of the challenges then, some of the common challenges that businesses face when trying to leverage or implement their ERP solution and specifically cloud ERP? I think that probably the biggest challenge that early stage or high growth companies, I mean, you can call them either one, right? Um, is the human capital constraints that they have. Mm -hmm. Um, In fast growing companies or in early stage companies, or even in late stage companies, people have so many different jobs and and responsibilities today um, that they have to attend to. And so oftentimes the ERP project, which isn't always a lot of fun, will perhaps get short shrift in terms of uh, an individual's prioritization within their within their day. So really, as we take a look at it, the biggest challenge is inside those organizations, having the proper change management control. So you have good leadership. The leadership is setting the tone and the direction for the project, setting the appropriate priorities, and then having them involved with the people in the business and in the project to ensure that they are properly focused on achieving the results that they're looking for in the project. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that being said, oftentimes that's one of the first questions that a prospect will ask us is, you know, how much time are my people going to have to spend on this particular project? And it's surprising when we give them the number. You know, most times people think about old time ERP implementations where people are working, you know, Uh, days, nights, weekends to be able to get their project responsibilities done. Um, With the way that we implement using, again, this, you know, kind of fit to standard best practices cloud mindset, people are oftentimes not spending any more than 10 hours a week on the project over the course of, you know, maybe a three-month, four-month project. So it's far less onerous than they originally think it to be. So once we lay that out, then the leadership is able to really properly steer their people and help them see the project in the right light. 